Hello, this is Andrea from Spreadsheetables and today I'm going to show you how to create a media player uh, inside of Google Sheets. So basically what I have here, uh, I have the play, I have a lot of uh, play links, lots of different play links and in different media types. Uh, so in this case, I have an M4A type, MP3, MKV and MP4. Uh, these are the ones that I tested that I have in my computer. So um, first thing you're going to do, you want to make sure that, and this is not, this will not work with an external link. Um, this will work if your, uh, your media is hosted in your Google Drive. Just make sure that it is in the same Google Drive, uh, same Google account as that you're working on the same Google account. So here I am, um, my Google Sheets is in my spreadsheetables at gmail.com. And my Google Drive is also under spreadsheet, spreadsheetables at gmail.com. So just make sure you're on the same Google account, okay? So what I did here, I created a folder inside of my drive. And I uploaded um, the files. So I have, you can see here, I have an MP3, M4A. Uh, and this, I'm not sure what this format is. It's just that I took this MP3 file I went online in an online converter and I converted to MP4, uh, and it returned the, this type of file. I don't know. I don't know what that means. So it's supposed to be an MP4. Uh, and then this one is an an actual MP4 uh, recorded, and then this one is an MKV, which is kind of like the MOV ones. Uh, it's just like more storage. It's just a video. It's basically just a video. So these two are videos these two are audios and this audio i recorded on my computer so i just clicked here on the start i have, have a desktop i'm using windows 10. so i just clicked here and i searched for voice oops it went to the other screen now i can't show you i just said i just typed voice recorder in the search bar right here uh you just click here and then start typing voice oh it showed you now so then you go voice recorder and then you come here, keeps moving screens. And then you just press here and you know, you can record, you make your audio. If you're a teacher, uh, you can go ahead and uh, record your, your classes. Or if you are recording a podcast, you can just, it's simple, it's free, it's part of Windows. Uh, I don't know if there, there's probably something similar in Mac. Uh, but yeah, I use Windows. So when you're done, just click here, stop recording, and then right click, and then open file location, and that would show that will show you uh, where your file is, and then you can go ahead and add to your um, to your computer, and then so you can add it to your. I mean, I normally put like somewhere that I will find. I like to use the downloads. Um, this, so that's where I put all my stuff in there. So. Um, and that's why I got this file, uh, right here, the MP3 file, I think, or the MP4. No, that one was this one. And then I converted to MP3. Yes. That's what I said. Okay. So this M4 is the actual voice recorder. That's correct. And then this one I converted online to MP3. Uh, yeah. So anyways, so, uh, if you're recording a lesson, a podcast, whatever it is, uh, you can just do that now for this let me go back let me back up here on my drive and i created a folder uh, it was called audio originally but it's all kind of media so i did here and what i did to this folder i just clicked in here and i clicked share uh and i believe you have to make this um anyone with the link is a viewer let me see if i change to restrict if it will play it might, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so it's restricted. Oh, the link is already here. Let me see if it will play. Okay, it will still play just because it's inside of your account. But if it's not, if this is something that you're sharing, you know, with your students or, you know, with your clients, if you're a coach and you're recording some podcasts, um, you might want to make this the whole folder um, shareable, like public. Just change to anyone with the link 
and then click done. Now, if you see here, because I made the pub the folder public, um, this one should automatically be uh, public as well. So if you go here, let's just double check. Okay, great. So all of these are public. That means everybody, if you give them a link, they will be able to view your file. They cannot, they cannot um, delete your file, but they can view and they might be able to download it too. Um, so let's go back to Google Sheets. So once you did that, you're gonna enter here. I created this spreadsheet. Uh, I have the Google Drive original link, which is the link that we're gonna get from here. So when you click here, you click share and then you copy the link. You come here and then you paste the link right here. Okay, so these links are just from coming here, share, copy link, okay? And I just paste it here. Now, for this to work, uh, you see how here it says Google uh, drive.google.com forward slash file forward slash oops uh, D and then there's the whole ID of your file this big bunch of characters and numbers in here and numbers and letters are your actual file ID and then here you have forward slash view question mark USB equal drive under thingy link right so if you click here and you click play media this will not work it will bring an error because uh the link the play link has to end with forward slash preview so and then it has to replace instead of view blah 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 it will replace with preview so i just put a formula here to substitute um whatever is in here if whatever is you know after uh, because it's the same for all links, uh, I can use this here, uh, and then it will take you will locate where this is on cell A7, and then it will replace with this text right here for slash preview, which is what what we want. So I just copy this down, everything, and then here I just added the media type so you can see uh, the kinds of um, things that this is making. So. For this one, I just created a button. Uh, so to create a button, you're going to insert drawing. And then there are some shapes in here. You can add an image. You can add whatever you want. Uh, even if you want to add like a, a, you know, just a, let me see if this will work. Like if you want to add a play button. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. Let's put some text box and then put an emoji in here. That could be, you can make it bigger. Oh, that did not work. The emoji did not work, okay. There we go. You can make this bigger. You might be able to change colors, let me see. Yeah, so this black emojis, you can change colors. So if you want just this, uh, you can edit some text here, play, um, and then just click save and close, and then it will create this uh, image right here. Now, if you want an actual button like this one, uh, same thing, go to format, and you can even either double click here or you can insert another drawing. Uh, and then there's some shapes in here. Normally for buttons, I use this one, it's called bevel. Uh, it has a little cute button format. Uh, and then you can change the colors in here. You can make this like, you can take the lines off if you want, and then you can write inside. So you can put play, media, and then you can also add emojis. Um, and then let's change some color here. Okay, then you save and close, and now you have your little play button, okay? If you want to delete, just click here and then delete. It will be gone. Uh, okay, so for this, you want to assign a script. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave uh, in the below in the video. I'm going to leave this, uh, this script right here. So let me back up. Let me delete this button of mine. <clears throat> Let's use this button right here. Um, 
So you click to extensions, app scripts, and then my will open. My because I already, yeah, I already had it here. But this will you delete. It's gonna have like function and something. Just delete everything that it's in there. Copy this code that it's under the video, and then paste it <coughs> in your app scripts, and just click save project. Okay. Then you can get out. Oh, and then you copy this, the function right here. And then you close it. Now you go back to here to the button and then click the three little dots and then click assign script and just paste uh, the text that you just copied from the app script. Click OK. And that should be it. Now, when you click here, you see how mine is running the script. Uh, yours, if it's, this is your first time running the script it's going to request an authorization from Google. Uh, just go ahead, authorize everything. If you see uh, like a warning sign that says like, it's kind of like a scary sign, was it like kind of almost like unsafe to proceed? Just, it's fine. Just click on advanced. It will show at the bottom. Click on advanced and then click, uh, just keep allowing everything, okay? Until you can run it again. And then once you're done, just click this here. Whatever link you want to play, you click it and then you click the button. And then this model window will pop up. And this is your um, your player. Hello, this is Andrea talking and this is an audio that I made for Google Sheets. So this was the, um, the, the recorder that I recorded on my computer. This one is the MP3 that I converted on the online converter. So just click play media. And it should be the same audio because I just converted it. Hello, this is Andrea talking and this is an audio that I made for Google Sheets. And this one is the movie. It will also play. It will look like squashed up, but when you click play, it will actually go back to normal. And then you can play here. Hi, this is Andrea from Spreadsheetables and this is a test. And same thing for the MP4 videos. Just click here and then click play media. Again, it will look very squashed. Just click here and then click play. This video has no audio, by the way. And that should be it. When you're done watching, you just click close. So um, that should be it. So let me know if you test it. Uh, if you are inside of the Spreadsheet Hub membership, you can get this spreadsheet and you can adjust to yourself. The script's gonna be there, everything's gonna be there. Um, there will be, if you're not part of the Spreadsheet Hub yet, there will be a link below the video as well that you can click to join. Uh, it's our membership where I teach all, everything uh, Google Sheets, uh, designing in Google Sheets, uh, all doing all this fun stuff that it's not really uh, out there and we also have a tier 2 which we call the VIP spreadsheet hub where I put the actual templates that I made for you we have some bill calendars we have um, yeah I can't even remember, like a social media planner we have a bunch of templates in there that you can either use for your personal use you can use on your business if you're a coach if you have a membership you can share that stuff with your members or you can resell either on Etsy, you can resell on your website, wherever it is. Um, so it's basically the spreadsheet yours to do whatever you want. The only thing is that uh, you can resell, but you have to resell to and then give somebody like personal use rights. You cannot give them reselling rights, right? This is not a master reselling um, license, but you can still make money off of spreadsheets. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon.